I've noticed a lot of people new to Adobe Animate are confused about the difference between groups and symbols. I'm going to quickly show you here what the difference is. So, for animation, you want to use symbols. Groups are for drawings. Well, first off, you can see that by default, symbols have this uh, blue outline and groups have this kind of greenish outline. So what's the difference? Well, you can think of symbols sort of like a box that have multiple drawings inside and the groups are just one of those drawings. So for example, if you go into a symbol, it has its own timeline. So I can add multiple keyframes in here. I can draw frame two, frame three, frame four, yada, yada, yada. And if I open up my frame picker tool with my symbol selected, I can set my frame to whatever drawing I want. Can you do that with a group? No, you can't. If you notice, when I grab my group, my frame picker window is completely empty. That's because if you go inside of a group, the timeline fades away, right? That means that this group is just one single drawing. If I copy my symbol and I paste it here, I can change it to a different drawing. These two symbols are the same symbol. So if I go in here and I add something different to this one, the same thing will be added to this one. So everything you do to one happens to the other one. What happens if we copy paste a group? I think you know where this is going. If I change something in this one, dee -dee 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 -dee, you will notice that nothing changed in the original. That's because groups are just their own thing. So when would you want to use groups? You want to use groups when you're trying to draw something. Let's say I've got this cool dude here. He's so cool. And I want to draw a hat on top of him. Well, if I do that on one layer and I say, oh, well, I don't like where this hat is. I want to move it. If I grab that hat and move it, you can see it cuts the paint out of your original line. The reason it does that is because Animate treats all brush strokes as one layer. The way that you would solve that is you would group the drawing of your dude and then draw a hat on top. Now you can move stuff around and you could even group up the hat and move it around wherever you want. However, these are just drawings, so you wouldn't be able to animate these. I'll show you an example. Let's say I have this group on this frame and on frame 10, I'll copy that group and paste it here. So what's going to happen when I try to add a tween? It's going to tell you it cannot be tween because you do not have symbols. But So what it does by default is it will symbolize your group automatically and add it to your library. That can be a good thing, but it can also be bad because your library will be full of these generic tween 1, tween 2, tween 3s, and it can get really confusing really fast. So I don't recommend it. So let's go back, back, back. If I want to animate our friend here, I'm going to want to symbolize him first. And you can name it whatever you want. Now, if I make a new keyframe, copy it, put him over here, let's rotate him a little bit. And then between it, you can see I don't get a pop-up, and it just tweens, which is great. Hope that was helpful. I know a lot of people new to animate, that sort of throws them off, groups versus symbols. But it's really simple once you break it down. If you're learning Adobe Animate, feel free to like and subscribe. I do lots of different little guides and tutorials. See you all later.